So here's your report from September the 23rd. Russia's goal is to prevent the special monitoring mission from documenting the Russian forces, Russian equipment, Russian weapons, Russian convoys, Russian fuel trucks, and the other side of the line of conflict. This has always been a Russian-led conflict. Russia initiated it and continues to be the aggressor. aggressor. Ru only Russia is responsible for the death and devastation it's caused. The civilian population continues to bear the brunt. I've read lots of releases in uh, diplomatic speak over my career, and this one is a pretty straight arrow. I mean, you call yep. Russia out as being directly yep. behind the violence. And we do that every week um, in the Permanent Council of the OSCE. Um, and Russia responds every week in the Permanent Council of the OSCE. But um, we are very straightforward about the US perspective about what is happening in Ukraine. And it is very clear that this is a Russian-led conflict uh, and that Russia is uniquely responsible for what is going on. That's why I'm confused when you say that Russia has to be part of the monitoring mission. Yep. But they're just playing a duplicitous double game, are they not? I mean, it, a lot of people have called for Russia to be kicked off that force. So um, access to the non-government controlled areas is dependent upon Russia agreeing to that access. And so uh, in order for the SMM to function, Russia does give us the agreement for the SMM to be in the non-government controlled area. What Russia gets in return is that the SMM all, it monitors all of, well, almost all of Ukraine. And so they are able to also monitor activities in the government controlled areas and can, um, be transparent about uh, things that happen there as well. But it's not working, is it? I mean, Russia's been closing down border points. They've been interfering with the patrols. They've been stopping a lot of the monitors from doing their work and seeing what they need to see. Mm -hmm. There have been um, recently in particular, there have been developments that the um, US government has been um, very unhappy about, including the uh, closing of the border observation mission, which was on the uh, border between Ukraine and Russia. Um, and that is something that if you also look at some of the statements we've made, um, we were um, pretty unhappy about. Why are they um, doing it? What are they doing? Well, You'd have to ask the Russians why they did that, to be honest with you. I'm not going to um, put words but, in their mouth. But, I mean, the but, answer seems obvious, that they're trying to stop you from seeing what's crossing those border points. Yeah, well, that would be, that is what I have alleged. Uh, that um, because um, those border observation missions have been closed, it, uh, we lose a very important confident building measure in terms of being able to see, at least in a limited way, what comes over the border between Russia and Ukraine. It makes and, me think when I when I hear it that the situation is deteriorating. I wouldn't disagree with that. I mean, I, I think that it would be the the lack of transparency um, does make it much harder to be optimistic in a lot of ways. Uh, that said, the SMM is still operating. They are still reporting, and uh, they are very important um, eyes and ears on the ground.